Tay, I agree with you, but even Tariq admitted to having sex with white women in the past. Tariq is far from being a coon. And he literally put far in big letters. There are certain things that you can ask a white girl to do that the average black man will be ashamed to ask his black um, queen to do out of respect. There's a video of Tariq saying he would raise the European flag, which is the flag of his oppressors, in the bedroom, and he just said that he's not a coon. He said he's far from a coon. He told black men to date mixed black women who have a white mother because they have the mentality of a white woman, and he's saying that he's not a coon because those sound like coonish statements to me. Because if you want a mixed woman with a with uh, this raised by a white woman, you want a white woman. You want a white woman then. You definitely want the mind of a white woman. And why would you want the mind of a white woman when the mind of a white woman is who raised that, that white male oppressor that you're complaining about? What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends, and folks of Black Junction TV? My name is Ademir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. Quick video, and you just saw the snippet there where you have a young lady by the name of Cynthia G. And honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to dwell too much into the gossip, but I do need to point this out because we, we do have somewhat of a problem in black society where folks just don't know how to gracefully take their L's. And bow out. Meaning. In this instance. Uh, Cynthia G. Was a one time. Regular. On Tariq Nasheed's. Shows. Where she would call in. And, and lend her two cents. To whatever subject. Was brought up. Now this woman had no problem calling in on his show and praising and giving him accolades but for those who don't know Cynthia G has been a long suspected feminist uh, an actual hater of black men and when the opportunity presented itself, she wasted no time to attempt to throw Tariq Nasheed under the bus. And this was something that took place a few months back where Tariq fired one of his co-hosts uh, co and Cynthia decided that she was going to be the vessel by which certain entities could take up legal action against Tariq Nasheed. Now, we talk a lot about being on code, and in this case, Cynthia was completely off code. And Tariq promptly called her out on that. Uh, they even had a conversation about it. Uh, Cynthia attempted to plead her case, but it largely fell on deaf ears. And because of her rejection, uh, a lot of folks have been validated in what they've been saying about this woman. And she has been marginalized. Uh, she recently had a, a spat with Corey Holcomb, but that's neither here nor there. That just further served to marginalize this 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 woman. And as you just seen from the clip, 
uh, someone brought up Tariq Nasheed's name and she had no problem going back into the, 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 the crates, so to speak, to, to dredge up old verbiage that may or may not have come out of Tariq Nasheed's mouth. At this point, it doesn't really matter, but to bring up past statements with the implication that Tariq Nasheed, of all people, is a coon, simply shows how far this piece of work is willing to go to legitimize herself. And I would expect folks who are out there paying attention to take heed to the underlying lesson. You have to pay attention to who is out there claiming to be on your team because this woman makes a living and I'm using that term woman loosely, but she makes a living. Um, well, she's garnered a following off of YouTube by talking about white supremacy and, and, and talking about, uh, well, she pretty much talks about white supremacy. She's extremely hyperbolic with it. And if you if you do not have a trained ear and a thinking mind, you will be caught off guard and would be led astray into believing that she actually has something viable to say. And that is not the case. And there are few others out there who you have to take what they say with a grain of salt because they might be presenting you with something that, that you, you feel and understand and, and believe in, but understand that they may have ulterior motives. And when the situations present themselves, they show you just who they are. And I present to you, Exhibit A, B, C, D, and we, we go from A to Z on this one. She said it. There's no coming back from that. And I hope that this will be the, the final uh, uh, nail in the coffin, so to speak, on what Cynthia G actually stands for. So those are my thoughts. You guys let me know how you feel. Lung Yao One here. Peace.